Well, there it is. Hello and welcome to another Witty Fitness Vlog. In this one, I'm going to talk about my progress so far up until this point, particularly today, and uh, a new addition to my supplements, which is protein powder, which I've only really started taking at the start of this week, which is the fourth week in. Yes, in a couple of days, we'll be up to one month which you will get progress picks. I'm not a big fan of giving you them, but the whole point of this is to try to inspire other people and at the same time be as open and honest with this. So you're gonna see some pretty gnarly pictures is all I'm saying, at least in the first week. And coming up to the fourth week, so a solid month. So I wanna to try to look good if I can. So I'm working hard at it. And um, one of the processes that I've used to do this, at least for this week only, and I've been sporadically taking it. I've only taken it like once after using the gym. I've not been using it all the time. But I'll look, give you a little look into it. And it is this pure whey protein that I've purchased. So Scooby Workshop has loads of information regarding fitness and stuff like that. And the dude is absolutely incredibly awesome. I'm aware of his uh, sort of like fitness and his videos for years now. And he's just a legend, to be quite frank with you. So if you don't know who Scooby Workshop, or Scooby is really, uh, go over to ScoobyWorkshop.com and find out. It's a free pimp, no doubt about it. He doesn't really know who I am, but I know who he is, and he's a legend, so you should definitely go and check him out. Is all I'm saying if you're curious about fitness. Anyway, he has this great little segment here called best protein powders in the UK because this is what I was like well if I'm gonna get it then what am I gonna get and uh, obviously it looks like I've gone for the cheapest one which I kind of did but the thing I like about it is it basically has the same level of um, he in a video he talks about you know obviously you don't want all these different extra ingredients which you typically get with these kind of whey protein powders all these type of powders so it's very short the list here the ideal would be the two at the top here because they literally just have whey protein and lecithin. Whereas, unfortunately, with this one, you got consecrate sanfan gum and sucralose. Otherwise, that's about it. You still got the same deal, but as you can see, it's entirely a lot cheaper. This is cost per 30 gram serving, it's £1.46. Protein powder is the kind of thing that people sometimes just chug all the time. And that's something I'm going to kind of work on. I've never been a big person when it comes to sort of... Um, well, I've never been a big person, but I've never been a person that's big into sort of taking lots of supplements. Oh, I've got to take pills of this, got to take pills of that every three hours and make sure I'm maintaining this. No, fuck that. I want to be as natural and... Well, yeah, natural as possible, you know. I want as few things interfering or, you know allowing me to become what I want to become. I want to be, I guess what I'm trying to say is I want to be as independent as possible. I don't want to be dependent on anything. If I need to take pills and shit to get big, I don't want to be fucking big then. I just want to be whatever I can be whilst taking the minimum amount. And besides, the pure whey protein isn't so much such a thing that, oh, I've got to down it, I've got to take it at this time, I've got to do... It's merely just a, oh, okay, I've just had a meal, and I know that that meal has got barely any protein in it. It's got a lot of carbs, it's got a lot of, you know, fiber in it, but it hasn't got much protein. Okay, I'll add some protein, or I'll drink a protein shake with this meal. That way, that compensates for the protein that I'm missing out, if I was to have, say, fish instead. So, that's pretty much what it is. That's what it is right there. So I've got this bad boy. And it is a bad boy indeed. It's a gigantic five kilogram pouch, I guess I would call it. Others might call it a bag. It's absolutely ginormous. And uh, it's a very good rate. As you can see, 500 grams isn't that many servings. But if you go up to five kilograms, you get much more bang for your buck. So that's what I've gone with. I still have the creatine because people know, pointed that out in one of my previous. Um, uh, witty fitness vlogs is that with the I thought it was protein powder <laughs> it was fucking creatine which apparently is something you're supposed to have as well so protein powder in the mornings create well not so much in the morning just whenever you're missing protein or during workouts before and after workouts it's like quick absorbing protein whereas creatine is like slow absorbing protein so you have that in like your last meal or before you go to bed so that's what I've been doing with the creatine and I'm 
I'm running out of it, so I'm actually kind of glad because I looked at the condition. It seems to have a lot of ingredients in it that I don't really recognize. So once again, I might pop over to Scooby or look into it with other research and try to find out what the best creatine is as well. And there was another... I mean, since you guys have been basically posting and giving feedback, I've been checking out all of these YouTube channels that you guys have been mentioning. It's getting a bit out of hand now, to be quite frank. You know, there's so many out there, and it's really difficult to watch all of their videos. I've been doing it whilst I've been editing videos and stuff like that. It's just having, like, a playlist of, like, people just doing fitness stuff or talking about nutrition. I'll be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, all right, yeah, okay. And whatever sort of soaks in soaks in because there's just so much it's hard to just sit there and stare at it because otherwise I'll be there all day and I'll get absolutely nothing done so it's something to have on the side and I can learn a lot from it stuff that I never knew before so yeah there's there was someone who just looks like an absolute boss like he he looks uh, kind of a healthy type of crazy level of def definition and fitness there's some people that go almost too overboard that they just look almost weird but there's someone that just sort of looks young, healthy, and sort of like a, there's a mass to them as well as sort of being like super defined. I feel like I'm probably going to end up being one of those people that's just insanely defined if I actually do manage to go through with this. Simply because of my body type, I don't seem to put on mass very easily. I'm only like 10 stone free at the moment. I might be lighter. I'm getting lighter and lighter. I can get myself down to like near 9 stone. That's doable for me. Not that I necessarily suggest that, but I can do it. And that says a five foot ten person. And for those that constantly ask, oh, what's foot? What's feet? Well, that's 178 centimeters and all of this. So, yeah, do the math. And um, the only other supplements that he was suggesting, or the impression that I get, is something like multivitamins only if you're not getting vitamins from the food sources and that's another thing that you've got to look into is like okay what food sources am i having then oh i see i'm missing out on this and there's so much research so much that goes into it it's quite insane and obviously we all live our lives and we do you know things other than just freaking fitness all day so you can't really go into it too much so sometimes it's just safer to pop a you know, multi-fitman straight away, but I'm sure there's going to be people that said that you shouldn't take them, so I haven't been taking them since. I haven't taken any fish supplements, but I, those are ones I'm definitely interested in. It's like the omega-3 or fish oil. I heard that's very good for you. So, I rarely ever have fish. It's fucking foul, to be quite frank. I'm not a fish lover. That's a good thing, right? And, uh, I've never really been into fish that much, other than, um, good old British, uh, fish and chips battered cod but that's far from good for you so I can't be having that and I don't think there's that much omega-3 in that either so um, yeah there's a few things that I want to get to sort of like fill in the gaps but other than that I really don't want to because I did this before I remember going I think it was like a year ago I was look, looking into fitness went to this website and it had like all this like it was really good information it's like this is what this does this helps you recover this helps you do this this is what this does this gives you more stamina during your workout so you can go for longer oi oi so by the end of it i ended up having like a list of seven or eight different types of pills that i was interested in i was like hang on a second this is bullshit i don't want to fucking be chugging pills all day i'm not fucking 70 years old or whatever yet I'll, I'll wait until I'm, you know, an old man before I start, you know, having to take pills all the time. I'd rather just try and do things as naturally and as independently as possible. But I think whey protein, creatine, fish oil, and potentially multivitamins or whatever vitamins that you're missing that you can't get from food are basically the, o the only things you really, really need. Anything else other than that is kind of overkill, but you're free to let me know in the comments section below what you uh, think regarding sort of like supplements that you would believe to be necessary. But, you know, be honest with it. Is it really necessary? Okay, so regards to the protein, it's going pretty good. I'm, I'm loving it. I've got unflavored as well, so there's even less chemicals in it. That's what you suggested, and I've got no problem with zero flavor. Although it does obviously taste like something. It tastes incredibly sweet. But it's okay. It just doesn't smell very good afterwards, the freaking tub. You wash it out, and you're like, holy shite, that doesn't smell good. So you have to keep washing it until you get it all fresh and plasticky again. Mmm, plastic. Right. Otherwise, 
my workout's been going well. I really, really enjoy doing free weights. And that's only really possible for me now because I go to the gym at like 3 a.m. So at most, there's like one other person down there. We have an upstairs and a downstairs bit. The downstairs bit has all the free weights in it. And typically, there's no one down there. So I can do all the embarrassing stuff and not really care about it. You know, it is really, really good because I feel free to experiment with the free weights. And I've been trying different stuff. I've been making up. I don't even know the names of what I've been doing. I'll just be doing fitness stuff that I kind of recognize from the videos that I've been seeing. Obviously, I'm not doing it incorrectly or I'm not doing it incorrectly to the point where I'm injuring myself. I believe in good form above weight and all of that. If you can't achieve good form with the weight you're doing, then you just need to knock the, the weight down. It's as simple as that. Do the highest weight you can do whilst maintaining the exact form that you should be performing because that way you're going to get the best result. You can't possibly get a good result from doing a weight that's far too heavy for you, but you can just about manage to do it because you're jerking your arm up. How the fuck's that going to help you out? I don't know why people do that shit at the gym. Or the, like they're doing these stupid... I see this at the gym like, what the fuck are you doing? Like they've got this machine and they're going... Hoo, hoo. You're getting jack shit from that, unless that's a real specific fast paced workout where you've got to do 10 of those and then 10 push ups and then 10 sit ups and then 10 of another machine all within two minutes or something. I don't understand why you're doing that. I do two seconds up, two seconds down, that sort of thing. It's like one, two, although that's a really s slow count. So it may be one and a half seconds, whatever it is. It's just a, a flowing movement, it's all one flow. If I can't if I'm having to go like that to do it, I'm doing it wrong and I need to reduce the weight. If I go like that, then the weight's too damn bloody light, so I need to put it up. So you get the idea, and that sort of stuff frustrates me at the gym. I don't know why people do that. It, you see all sorts of mistakes at the gym, but then again, that's understandable because people don't really fucking know what they're doing unless they've got a personal trainer. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I know enough to keep a good form. Anyway. This morning's workout was definitely the best workout I've had so far. I killed it today. Like, when I started, you lie down on the bench, and I only do sort of light weights, because it's been six months since I've done any sort of real exercise, to be quite frank with you. And um, I'm coming up to the first month now. So the first week or two, I did 12s. You know, just 12 in one dumbbell, 12 in the other dumbbell, so technically 24 kilograms, whatever you want to look at it. And I'm doing that. You know, you're lying down and you're pushing up and it's lovely. It's a great feeling. And um, then I progressed to 14s and then 16s very recently. Like uh, last at the end of last week, I was doing 16s. And I was like, today I just went in there and I was like, hmm, I'm doing 16s. It feels like I, don't, I never feel that stressed from doing it. I do three lots of 12. So I'm doing up to 12 reps. And... Um, I never feel that stressed from doing it. I just appreciate doing it because I know I can feel the muscles at least working, but I'm not really feeling any true resistance from it. So I decided to go... I did 16, so I did three lots of 16, I think. Then I did three lots of 18, because I thought, ah, oh, okay, I'll try this. And that kind of just felt like 16s to me, the 18 one. So I was starting to look at the 20s, and I was thinking, these are starting to look a lot bulkier now, because that's what happens. You look, the dumbbells start to get a lot thicker as you go up in weight, quite clearly, obviously, but they really do look a lot more intimidating. So I look at the 20s, and I'm like, all right, I'll give them a go. And I did fucking 12 of the 20s, and that was still quite doable. That I wasn't struggling on that one. So I was like, what the fuck? Okay, I'll do the 22s now, and these are, like, really getting big. So I look at the 22s. That's 22 in each hand. Some people might go, oh, is that it? But considering I was, like, doing 14, 16s last week, I don't know what the fuck has happened to me. Anyway, um, I did the 22s, and I did 12 lots of them. And I managed to do it struggling, but not whilst losing form. So I managed to maintain form on 22s and I was super chuffed by this point and then I looked at the 24s <sighs> typically I know I'd only do three rep or three sets of 12 reps on a particular workout but since I was like up in the weights each time I was just testing what I can kind of do and I say 
Fuck. Alright, let's give these a go. And bear in mind that what I was doing before, like my shoulder exercises, would be to hold the dumbbells, like standing up and just lift your shoulders only. And I was doing that with 18s because I thought that was heavy because that used to fucking kill my hands just holding on to them. Like, it, there's a lot of weight that's just... And the grip isn't that great. I should probably wear gloves. So it's not really comfortable. And that's what made me sort of up the weight regarding that. Because I was just trying to think, well, I think the shoulder one should basically be the kind of heaviest weight that I can push. You know, upwards. That would give me a good inclination as to what I should be doing. Or at least a weight or two above that notch. So I, I saw the 24s. And I picked them up. Heavy fuckers. And I sat down, I had one on each leg, and then I laid down, and I got in, I got ready, and I went like that, and then I, I, I couldn't push any further. <laughs> it, they were almost just going out at that point, they weren't going up, they were just going out, so I was like, oh, okay, better drop them before I go and break my uh, shoulder or something like that, because you can very, I've given myself a big injury a long time ago. That's I, uh, yeah okay. I'll just tell that story quickly. Um, there was one time where I was doing like these flies, but I was doing like quite heavy weight, heavier than I should have been, and I kept going. But I, I'm OCD. You know, I'm quite an OCD person. But I was OCD to the point where I didn't sort of recognise that when you are basically in pain and you definitely cannot lift the weight, you shouldn't fucking keep going. However, these flies were quite heavy, and I got really close towards the end of, I think, just 10 reps I was doing, but I was, like, on 7 or 8, and, you know, you should be parallel, like that, basically, but I was like that, and I had to do those extra 2 to 3 reps, this is, like, a couple of years ago now, at least, I had to do those 2 or 3 extra reps, and I fucking tore something, or I did something bad. And the worst thing is, is I managed, I still went through with those reps. Even though I was in fucking huge pain. And you want to know what's even more stupid than that? So I put those weights away, and then I went and fucking did some pull-ups. Still feeling the same amount of pain, thinking oh, I was going to go away in a minute or two. No, I was fucked for like a month or two at least after that. In fact, my arm... Only recently I've never really felt much from it, but up until recently, I would say I'd still feel twinges and stuff like that whenever I lift a weight in a particular way from a particular angle, like along there, because I'd feel like I tore something at the time, and it, it stays with you, so it's, don't be stupid. Form is so important, and I, I was stupid back then doing that. But these 24s, they defeated me. I had to drop them. I did zero. So... I, I decided to go, you know what, I'm going to do the rest of my workout. And everything else that I did today, all my other kind of workouts, I more or less upped the weight, or at least when I was doing the same weight that I typically did, I did it with even better form than before, like even slower, even more methodical. Really, just I, I, like the bar that you hold onto, and you just lift it up like that, but it's by your side. I like doing that one, because I see so many people, they, they go like that, they use so much cheap momentum like their back their hips I am literally just solid like the only thing that is literally moving is that nothing else moves everything is dead straight shoulders hips because that like I say is so important just keep the absolute form and you will get by far the best results and you will overtake everyone else who is basically using those stupid forms of just trying to lift that slightly extra bigger bit of weight and to be quite frank, the reason why I can do that, again, is like I say, I go at such a stupid time that I, I'm not embarrassed. Because there's no one to be embarrassed in front of, or one guy. So, typically, when most people go to the gym, you've got your lads, or whatever, that are always hogging the free weight area. And even if you're with a mate, it's intimidating to go in there and try to lift weights, and you just feel like, oh... I feel stupid. I can't wait to just do this and get out. So they do it, they rush it, and then they get out. And they don't get anything done. And those big guys or whatever, they don't really care. But you, it's, a, it's definitely a guy mentality thing. You don't feel comfortable doing it, no matter what. There's very few people that can just walk in there and just zone out and zone out other people. Because it's intimidating, it is. 
And if you do it solo, which I do most of the time, if I did try to go to the gym beforehand after work, fuck that. That's horrible, that is. Because it's a very closed in space. I've been in previous gyms before where sometimes the free weight area is kind of spread out. So you're not technically in this confined space. It doesn't feel like you're with them, if you know what I mean. Whereas the gym I go to at the moment, if you go into that area, you are with them. You are standing very close. You are very nearby. You are in their proximity. You know what I mean? It's like this human sort of um, spatial awareness thing where you can be 15 meters away from someone and therefore you don't feel at all threatened by them in any way, shape or form. But if you're 10 meters from them, suddenly you're like, oh shit, they can hear everything I'm saying. They can see everything I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? It's just that short space that makes all the difference. And unfortunately, that's kind of the case with this gym. It's quite enclosed. So, um, yeah, I get the luxury of doing that. Anyway, I did the rest of my workouts and uh, made great progress. I've been doing dead presses as well. I've yet to fucking do squats or deadlifts because, to be quite frank, I'm still scared of them. Even doing them solo. <sighs> There's something intimidating about them, but I'm not too annoyed about it because I feel like, okay, I can do them after a month. So I'm going to basically start doing them next week. Really seriously try them next week, even on stupid uh, easy weights. As long as I can get used to the motion, because they're weird, they're horrible to do. They're hard to do, and um, that's why I've been avoiding them up to this point. I'm not trying to like make the quickest amount of progress possible. I'm still trying to progress fast, but within a you know, a decent range, so I'm not sort of like doing any permanent damage to my body because again, this is like for life. So, yeah, I did all the rest of my workouts and I was looking at the clock and I thought, I have another five minutes and I knew I was going to do this anyway, regardless of what time there was left on the clock because I have to go to work and I have to have my shower very quickly and get to work. I wasn't going to be late, but I said, yeah, I'm going to try those 24s again. So I got the 24s went on the bench and I really fucking pushed it this time and as long as you can just get like even that much momentum then you can push out the hardest bit is just going from there to like there that is literally it there to there that is the hardest bit by far and as soon as you're there then you can push out and I managed to get up to five and that was it and that's when you know you're doing a weight that is like definitely too heavy for you because typically it's like go up to eight and or exhaustion. So 24s is definitely exhaustion for me. That's 24s in each hand. So that's 48 kilograms up. I know people can lift stupid weights, but I'm a very small, skinny guy. You know, I'm like 60 kilograms. So I'm technically lifting up nearly 50 kilograms there. So and this is within the first month of fitness. So I'm doing pretty well, I would say, in regards to that and. I haven't done any damage to myself. I didn't feel like I was doing any damage. It felt good, even with the 24s. Like, don't get me wrong, I was, I've never made so much noise in my life. You know you hear those people at the gym that go, because I'm the only one there. Again, I don't have to worry about the embarrassment factor, because I can just do these things, make progress from it. So I feel like I'm being really spoiled. I'm, very, I'm in a very luxurious position. I don't envy myself for having to get up at 2.30 in the morning to go, but when I am there, I am very grateful for the fact that I can basically do what the fuck I like and not feel bad about it or awkward about it in any way, shape or form. So that way I can make the most progress. So in the long run, I am going to win because I've got no one else to compete with. I'm only competing with myself. And in that case, I will do everything correctly because I'm not a knobhead going, oh, I can fucking beat myself. Fucking do these 26s. Oh, break my arm. No, I'm not that stupid. I'm stupid, but not that stupid. So... I'm really proud and happy with myself today and it was the first time I really started looking at the other weights, the other dumbbells, looking up to like how high they go, like oh look there's some 30s there and I was eyeing up the 30s thinking I'll see you in a, in a month or two maybe. It was one of those things that you start to think, oh, well, alright, how much can I lift? So you can get quite a good pump from that, definitely, so I was pretty buzzing at the end of it. It was a good workout. It's definitely my favourite one. Tomorrow I'm going to do leg day. I technically haven't done one leg day. Not one proper leg day. I've done a few leg machines every now and then, but I've never done one proper leg day, so I've got to work on the legs. you got to work on the legs. I do bike everywhere, so I've got that excuse, but yeah. Oh shit, I've been going on for ages. It's almost 25 minutes. What the fuck? Alright. 
So <laughs> that's it pretty much. Um, that's my progress so far and in a couple of days time on Saturday I'll be taking some progress pics and putting them up there. Uh, I don't want to, honestly I don't. It would be much easier for me to not fucking show you what I look like in the first week because it's not pretty. But again it's just kind of it's for like the greater good it's it's not it's just like a think of it as a selfless act i'm a pretty selfish person but i think with this sort of thing i'm quite happy to put that out there and if that helps someone then fair enough you know so anyway thanks for watching and uh see you soon bye bye